Also in the natural world, agriculture experts in Vermont are hoping you'll be aware of a new invasive pest that could do real harm to fruit crops and other products. Our Jack Thurston reports. It's going to be a great year. It's already time for Pick Your Own Apples at Hackett's Orchard in South Hero, Vermont. Ready or not, here we come. Where Devin Hackett wants his 15 acres of fruit trees to stay healthy and productive in the face of a potentially expanding threat to the northeast. Be on the lookout. The invasive spotted lanternfly, which actually jumps more than it flies, was recently found in Rutland. Three bugs snuck into a shipment to Vermont from a state with known infestations. They're really good hitchhikers. The first spotted lanternfly found in New Jersey had hopped into a woman's purse. Judy Rosofsky is Vermont's state entomologist. It's bug expert. She says the colorful spotted lanternfly is originally from China, but after making its way to Pennsylvania, has now spread to eight other states, including parts of New York and Connecticut. The bugs' piercing mouths suck fluids and nutrients from dozens of plant species. Hardwoods like maple trees are at risk, as are crops like grapes, hops, and yes, apples. That's the most frightening about it. The agriculture sector is grateful the Rutland business opening that box with the stowaway lanternflies knew they didn't belong, sparking an investigation, now resolved, that gave Judy no reason to think there's a larger problem in Vermont at the moment, and she wants it to stay that way, saying the lanternfly could be a real pain for everyone because it leaves a gross residue behind. And it will get all over things on the outside, like your car, your kids' toys, your deck furniture. It's all going to be covered with sticky goo. And then that gets sooty mold. This sounds like a nasty bug. This is a problem insect. Now, our hope is that it won't get established in Vermont, that we're a little too cold, maybe. She still wants you to report any possible sightings and to focus on prevention as the best defense to keep places like Hackett's Orchard safe from the spotted lanternfly. We hope. In South Hero, Jack Thurston, NBC5 News.